So everything has, is it two by six is in the floor? Yeah, so I want to give you this pamphlet too. So oh, yeah. in here kind of, it, it yeah. goes through and what it will do is it kind of shows the breakdown of, of the interior, cool. each style of the building mm -hmm. they offer. Uh, whether it be the two by six, 16 on center floor joists that come in all of our buildings, two by four, 16 on center, two by four roof joists. Um, what are, what are the, are they on two foot or on 16 inches on, in the roof? So like in this one here with the premier features, yeah. it's 16 on center, two by six trusses automatically that's, that, that's what I get. Show me some of the, yeah, it's like, is this one of those? So this one is not a premiere. That's it, but still, it's, I'm just, it, I like the outside of it, the look yeah. of it and everything. Yeah, so basically what this one is, um, this is actually a utility shed with high walls. So in the utility shed with high walls, you've got your two by six, four joists, 16 on center, two by four, 16 on center. What is our width here? 16 feet wide? No, no, 12 no, by no. 24. 12 by 24. Yeah, 12 foot wide got by 24. Roof section. Um, this one comes with your six foot train and forest package, which is going to be wood for a couple years. It came, it came wired already with a couple of breakers in. So on the lot right now, we do have a couple models that are wired. And yeah. then if you custom build one, you can add an electrical package to one you custom These are 16 build. inch. You can see it's, uh, so it's two foot sanders on this one. But you know, so what's the uh, sheeting on the top? Is it uh, five eighths? What is, uh, do we know kind of? Yeah, so it's going to be uh, three quarter inch sheeting on top. And it's got the LP oh. tech shield. It's going to be on top, on the back of the uh, roof board. Yeah, yeah, it's going to okay. be the actual radiant barrier. You'll see that it extends down the wall. So that does a couple different things. Keeps it about 10 to 15 degrees cooler inside the shed, but also helps with the uh, brightening up the shed. Yeah. Because being that it's silver and it captures that sunlight and reflects it back off. I mean, you know, something like this would work for a little studio, I'm maybe thinking back behind the house. So, it, it, what do you have that's bigger, than, even bigger than this? Okay, yeah. Uh, and if you have one that's premium, I want to show her, I, I, just for my edification more than anything, she yeah. she probably won't care so much, but. Not a problem. So basically what we have out here right now. Yeah. Have, and you have a place in Marion too, right? Yeah, we got a place in Marion. Yep. Yeah, so so they've got a, a couple more sheds that way. They, yeah. they have a, a 14 wide up there. Oh, this is nice. That's just beautiful. This might be the one you, you got that I was really looking at. So so is this one a premier one or is, oh, yeah, this is. Oh, okay. I can already tell. So I'm six two. This is roughly six foot here. So okay, that's what I don't mind bending over. Yeah, so this one comes out to uh, 14 feet by 32 foot long, uh, six foot three and forge package. So that takes up part of that 32 feet. Uh, with the loft and barn, you got eight foot off in the rear. Your tech shield on top, silver tech on your walls, electrical package. Uh, 36 by 36 window up front, 224 by 36 windows. It's about six six, now about six five here, or so, so we 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 can can get under this. This is nice though. You got plenty of storage. You get on top. I guess I could just have me a ladder. I could. Is that especially uh, two before is under here then, right? Yeah, yeah. So I could lay some sheeting. Is I was lay some sheeting up there. Yeah, see. you can lay some sheeting up there. That's not going to support right. the, the the weight that your rear loss will yeah. on a two by six structure. <laughs> but then again, I can get some two by sixes and put me on the floor up there. You could, yeah. yeah. I mean, there would be no no issue doing it. Scott, you got a ridge vent, looks like. Yeah, the ridge vent does have a screen inside, but as well as doesn't let anything kind of drop down on top of the other or something like that. That's kind of what that looks like at the top of there. This is this is the one that had me interested. Yeah. So the really neat thing about this as well, is, uh, the flooring of everything except for our value shed series. All of our sheds come with LP Legacy with really good technology flooring. Um, and what you look at here, you see what looks like it's wet. A lot of people say, hey, well, this is wet in spots. It's not wet. It's actually the glue that they use for yeah. all the seams yeah. on And these boards are covered in that with their manufacturers as well. What that does, like really good technology, they actually take a sheet of this on LP website. They drill holes in it, put it under a waterfall for 24 hours, pull it out, stick a moisture mirror to it, and it absorbs no moisture. Now these are made to see it on Top of on top of gravel, right? Or, or, or can you make a concrete pad and put them on there? You can make a concrete pad and put it on. What they're going to stack it on would be a dry stack block. If you did a concrete level concrete pad, they would set it on four inch blocks so you can barely see them underneath it. Okay. Uh, and then of course, even if you were to set this on uh, a concrete pad directly, you would still need to do some sort of underpinning, if, if, you know, for your choice if you want. Yeah. Uh, because they're going to what they what they do with these is actually this one's going to sit on four four by six skids. Yeah. And then inside of those skids, they're notched out. 
16 on center for all of the 2x6 four joists to sit right in. Oh, I see. Okay. And then it's manufactured onto the bottom. That's nice. Yeah. So I one thing is, want. too, say you really like this model and you really like this size, but this porch is too low. Yeah. They actually changed the porch package on the newer lofted barn porch models. Yeah, so it can be and four inches higher. Yeah, Let's look inside one. Now, 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 the other thing intrigues me, so... I guess I'd, I'd have to. Okay, okay. Can I? Could I order one? Like, do you guys order these or just come in as they can? So we order all our lot models, but you can custom build anything you want. Well, like say I, I say I'd like to have one door that I could put a lawnmower in. Like I say I wanted one like this, but I'd like a side door that had that I'd push. I get a riding lawnmower and go in with it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So like our Southern Classic model comes with the Southern Classic door with the trains and windows. Same two by six, same LP glazing flooring. This one has the trains and windows in the rear. Has your transom dormer, which brings that top out yeah, and allows the light nice. top. Electrical package inside of this one. But if you were to do something like this Southern Classic, you do a 14 by 40, get your Southern Classic shed doors, and then we could add on a different side an actual three foot door um, that can be insulated or not insulated. So it could come with 11 light, 9 light windows and those doors as well. Let's go better kind of see the side. So what, what is this? Is this one? Uh, this is a 10 by 20 Southern Classic. 10 by 20. There's the price on that. We have any of these would be good. So what we have, we have a really nice place, but it has no basement. And okay. for years, we've just known we know we need, we're not growing the space. We just need some extra space for tools and for. Well, I mean, I, I I do a YouTube channel about guitars. It'd be cool to maybe have us half of it with my tools and half of it with a studio for me to do my guitar reviews and stuff. Right. So, Let me show you one so I pack real quick. Yeah, man. Let's show me. The one right beside that. Now, okay. what's your name? My name's Alex. Alex? Yeah. You look familiar for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother Morgan. Hey, Morgan. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tony, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, one I think that you might be interested in, too. Um, there's the new lofted barn style. Yeah. Let's take a look. It's actually raised up pretty high. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, this one's been sold. Um, but the one beside it has, and I want to show you that one as well. Okay. There's another option I think you may like. So you can already tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see you've got, got, got an eight foot ceiling here. Right. right. So this one comes in, this is also a 12 by 24, but it has the deluxe porch package, which takes up 12 foot on the left side, four foot on the front right side, but you get this kind of, kind of notch, this kind mm -hmm. of look. Uh, this one has a loft in the rear, so it has a 70 inch door in the rear. Um, which you would have to duck to come in and out of. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, it's something to kind of take into consideration. Still still not bad, yes, uh, like I said, I, 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 don't, I don't mind walking through a 70 inch door, <laughs> but that is nice, yeah. I, yeah, so they brought yeah. the roof up. Now you lost the space up top, there's still a little area up there that you yeah. can possibly side yeah. slide some things. Yeah. Um, and maybe put an amp or something like that. But exactly. It's going to be. Uh, or get, what I do is guitar cases. Okay, it's guitar just, just light, lightweight stuff, you know. Yeah, which we could slide right up there. Hang yeah, the guitars this, on the wall and store the cases up above. Cool. This has the same porch style, but this is a utility shed. Yeah. Basically, it's been converted with a deluxe front porch. It has the 11 light glass door. So this one has a, yeah, it has a back door that you can pull your. Yeah, so being this is a 12 by 28, you're gonna get the same size as the one next door with the same porch, but this one has a double shed back door, so say yep. you want to pull a lot more in the back with the source of tools yeah. in the back, and then be able to use a lot, utilize the front for something a little different. Not bad, not bad at all. So in, any of this, what, what it's gonna end up doing is giving us our garage back. Because I've, right. got, I've got my guitar, I've got to, I've got, well, I'm storing some guitars out there now, which isn't great for them. I've got mm -hmm. them in gig bags. But it's also, all my tools are there for just any yard, yard. I mean, I could put all my yard tools in here. I could, I could take this much of it and put everything I need to probably clean the guitar or the, clean the, the garage out mm -hmm. and have a little area like this to sit back here and put a computer and do reviews if I wanted to insulate it well and put some, an AC in it or something. Yeah, which you could. You could. We have a lot. Of, matter of fact, last week we actually built a custom uh, porch model for a uh, lady out of Charleston, South Carolina. She's moving up here to Morganton to live on her live with her mom. She was uh, getting older and needed some help around the house. And she said, "Look, I'm a musician and, and, and an artist." She said, "I need I need this space. I don't want to you know dump much from my mom's house. I don't want to consume it." So she actually purchased the porch model with shed doors in the back, so she could pop them open. 
and get her inspiration out there in the woods where she's painting. So. Um, all right. Well, I, the thing I wanted to see is that how well how well are they built? They seem to be really nice. I so, really do. Something else to take into consideration: while LP offers their own manufacturer warranties, like the floor has a limited lifetime warranty, siding comes with a 50-year warranty, roof comes with a 30-year warranty. Also, on top of that, Liberty themselves offer a 10-year craftsmanship warranty that comes in all sheds they sell. That's um, cool. With that being said, you know, if, if you start looking, you're like, hey, one of these is starting to warp or rot on Yeah, you. yeah. You call me right away, and then we'll call Liberty and have them come out there and make it. Excellent. Uh, so, so the, 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 first of all, I, I like the, so I can, I can either order something from here, or I can go to, do you... Uh, guys get a portion of what's in Marion too or is, there, is this your independently yeah, yours so, here so actually Marion um, Tom Truitt which is our dad yeah okay one. okay and he owns both of these We're, we just work here for him okay cool work the form. so if you found something in Marion that you like we could transfer it here and sell it out that way or you could custom build as well okay well so so if I decide on one something like this only maybe so, okay so that your brochure that's going to tell me if, what sizes are available for different yeah. styles and everything yeah, right yeah. okay cool yeah we can build that's deliverable 14 by 40 14 by 40 yeah and then that would be more those. than that would be yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking 14 by 32 or something would probably right. i mean you could, so i could <laughs> as long as it's two foot in, uh, intervals right maybe or right, um, two foot intervals yeah i'm inside one of the liberty storage buildings i was looking up in the roof to see how it's got two by sixes in the roof of this one i want to make sure mine's got it too and uh, I'll spray foam all this. Spray foam all of this. This type. Of, this is a 14 foot by I think 32. And this one has a little porch on it, which I don't need. But this is nice. Looks like they are really made well. Yes, baby. I'd like to put this one in at Mama's next to her house. Something like this would be great, wouldn't it? Yes. This would be excellent. It's $23,000 just like it is. Yeah. We can actually get this one and put it in at Mama's at her house. We can put it in that piece of land there. Yes. Just get it cleared out. Yes. And then we've got a second little house there. Yes. We would have a little place to go and be. <clears throat> this, what we do, we'd spray this, this uh, foam into this. Yeah. And just uh, put a, and just have, a, have this high vaulted ceiling in the whole thing. This would be a perfect little just house. Because you know. We'd have to next, have a little, little set. In the next five years, we're going to have to be going out visiting her a lot. And it'd be nice to have our own space. I wouldn't want to put any walls other than a wall before a bathroom. And we did all open, like one big open space, a little kitchenette, yeah. little kitchenette, bathroom. One like this with a little porch wouldn't be bad, would it? Just no. have a little porch out front. This would be perfect at Mama's with that little porch. Because we have to start taking care of her real soon. And we need her own space to take care of her. Let's go look at another one. I like the, I like the fact they left these open where you can take a peep. Just shoot and see how it looks on the outside. That's pretty nice. Go ahead and close that door, baby. If, uh, probably I'll get it. Since you got your dog. Uh, That's a perfect color, too. Uh, more blue trim, you know? Yep. Yeah. That's a perfect size for Mama's house. Let me go inside this one to see how the roof looks in it. Side of the one that we did kind of like there that we were in with the little porch on just a minute ago. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times just 36 feet is what that thing is. Okay. This is one of the little small ones, 10 by 20.
the two foot centers. Well, I like two by sixes, not two by fours in the roof. I mean, so I've never been the smaller ones. Again, it's got two by fours in the ceiling, not the two by sixes. This one is Southern Classic. Okay. But still, this is a nice little building. I gotta say, I could. If I just find something like this. Don't you wonder, could you get two of these? This is 12 by 24. This one has the dorm room up again. Another smaller one. This was only 8,000 bucks, 10 between, 200 square feet. Again, it just shows how they're constructed. It's pretty cool, actually. 